Your hand is bisexual. Why you say that? You know. What? <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction. It's up, Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks on Patreon phones. Yeah. Like Come on over to my Patreon. The water's fine. Mm, gross. Today, we have a video. This is called Yoga Meets Pole Dancing with India Mal Malakam. So, we have seen a video of this before. Uh, but it was a long time ago, and it was not this video, and we've probably forgotten it. Because in that U.S. versus yeah. thing, the... We have the best whatever, you know? Uh-huh. And that guy that jumped and he caught on the pole. With, yes. Like, yes. Like, on his testicles. Yes. That is apparently... Okay. Uh, and so this is uh, from the the big story. It's a big YouTube channel. And so they're going to kind of explain it a little more <laughs> for us. Explain that thing. That gotcha. It's an art form, apparently. Okay. I'm interested to see if they're going to stand at the top and do downward dog. Why? Would just be interesting to see. Here we go. Once upon a time, it was a rural sports of India. Ow! But due to the British conquering India and ruling over the country, they thrashed all the things which were existing in Indian culture. But it is being revived. It is now known as the fastest growing sport in the world. This great big story is inspired by Genesis. <sighs> the art of the... Come on. That was Malla not a... Kham. It's made by two words. Malla is a wrestler. Kham is a pole. Basically, Malla Kham is a wooden pole, which is about eight and a half feet in the height. The main beauty was to wrestle against this pole in the absence of your partner. You can find the traces about Nalkham in our old epics, but the historical evidence shows Nalkham going back over 200 years. My name is Uday Deshpande, and I teach Nalkham in this institution every day. I come here at 4.30 in the morning, and I'm here till 10.30 in the night. That's a long time, man. I like the music. Basically, da -dum, all da -dum, the da -dum, are divided into five da -dum, categories. Da -dum. The first one is mounts. So from the floor, you mount on the apparatus. You know about mounting. Your mom knows about that. There is hold parts. You, you know about holding parts. parts. On the pole, Ow. like yogic posture. Ow! Then there are some catches. You release the... Ow! And before falling on the ground, you re-grasp it again. And then the acrobatic movements, very fast turning, twisting, rotating movements. Wow. And the last is dismount. Maybe with a somersault, simple dismount. Yeah, nice all shot. All positions <laughs> are basically named like Ota Zatazwa, Khandi, Bane Guruji Pakad, Bajang Pakad, Mohan Bedi. All these are the original names which were given oh. by the ancestors to these typical movements. And we continue with the same name nomenclature today. Do the boys only do the pole and the fight. girls do the rope? So, so young. And of course, there is no higher age limit. So anybody of any age can learn this. People always like the easy things to learn, like cricket or like football. Here, when you want to learn Malkham, it needs some efforts to do that. So it's not yeah, it so sure easy. looks but like it. The courage and confidence not a core strength. Level, it overall Testicle changes strength. the total personality of the person when start doing Malkham. It wow. deserves much more status than what it has today. But Malkham is now getting spread and more and more people Ow. are Ow. taking interest in the sport. Our next target is to revive these places and spread the Malkham. That's incredibly interesting. Wow. Ouch. My groin hurts. Yours? Uh, no. Oh. Uh, my groin's doing pretty good right now. Do you think you could do that? Like, if you could, if you got, got no. to a pole, <laughs> no. could you just lay on your back? With, with extraordinary 
effort I could put myself into a position if you gave me a good five minutes to hold maybe one or two of those positions and not for long. I mean, even though I'm in really good shape, those are requiring muscles to do things that we don't use them for on a daily basis. So, yeah, I can imagine how freaking hard that is. Why do the girls only do the rope? At least in this video, that's what yeah, we're showing. Yeah, that's what it looked the like. Girls well, the girls, only, girls only do rope, rope boys, boys only do, do the pull. pull. Um, it's super interesting. Ouch, man. Yeah, some of those just look straight up, and I'm sure they are. Painful. Ugh. I wonder if there's any kind of um, push, because so many sports try to get pushed to get included in Olympic competition. I wonder if that has ever had a push for it because it's been around for so long. But I, I, I bet more of the world has to. Exactly. You can't just have something that your yeah. nation excels in and other nations aren't doing. Yeah. So like, and it sounded like it was like a, it's been in India for a long time. Oh, yeah. Throughout its history. Yeah. But I don't know if it's anywhere else. I've never heard of it anywhere else. I've never seen it. Um, <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me if there are variations on it in other Asian countries. Mm. But I can't think of anything we have that is... Your mom's really good at the, a different kind of pole. That's true. Pole dancing. My mom never did pole dancing. She did disco dancing and she did belly dancing and she was a stripper. But she never did pole I dancing. She would have. So it wasn't big so back then. When my mom was a stripper, pole dancing wasn't a big deal. And my mom was a birthday stripper. So she wasn't like a stripper in a club. She was the one that showed up at a birthday party and surprised, or at a, a a bachelor party. And she didn't go full. She went down to a bikini. Yes, I've watched my mom strip in front of guys. <laughs> I feel like no one's asking you to reveal this information. Yeah. In fact, I have a video of it. No. Yeah, you want to see it? We're going to get demonetized. No, seriously. Here absolutely, you go. No, we're you. absolutely getting this demonetized. Is, uh, this was me watching my mom uh, belly dance when I was a little kid. Just kidding. It just happened to be a TikTok that I saw recently that I love. This is this reminded me of Micah because when Micah was a little boy, we we're watching Last Tango in Paris and the girl dancers go by and the sexiest ones on there. I've mentioned this before. And he, he just goes, I like that one. <laughs> this little kid's just gobsmacked. It's going through puberty right before our very eyes. Uh, <sighs> Anyways, that was cool. Uh, if there's any other videos of like people actually performing it, that'd be really cool to actually see yeah. a, a full-on performance of it. If any of you do this, please let us know in the comments below. And if there's any of other videos we can react to, please let us know down below. Josh!